On the road to reopening, Jersey City debuted some new technology to keep workers safe as they return to the office. Jersey City is the first in the tri-state to use body temperature scans and mask recognition technology at all of its municipal buildings. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates has a story. Normal temperature. On its march towards getting Jersey City to that new normal that includes reopening city services buildings, this will be a part of security and testing that will greet you. Please face to the detector frame. If you plan to go inside any of the municipal buildings, fire and police stations, housing authority office. It will not require anybody to touch anything, no person there, but will uh, assess uh, a person's temperature and uh, of course uh, recognize if they have a mask or they don't have a mask. Please wear a mask. I was at City Hall yesterday, poked my head in just sure. to try it out. But I don't have a mask on. Look at that. <laughs> Access denied. The machine scan only for if you have a temperature and if you're wearing a mask, says the mayor, to put to rest any fear that the hardware could also be used as facial recognition to pull up or gather personal information. We're not looking to do any sort of facial recognition data storage or use it in any other way other than what we've conveyed with regards to testing somebody's temperature and whether making sure they're wearing a mask when they come in. And if you're screened and it does come back that you have a fever? If you have a 100.3 fever or above, um, you will not be able to get access internally. Uh, we'll ask you to go home and monitor your own temperature. The devices cost about $1,800 a piece. They are made in New Jersey and were purchased, the mayor says, with federal money allocated to combat the COVID-19 crisis. They're being installed in phases at the same time that some buildings are still being fitted with partitions and social distancing tools to protect the workers and the public.